Dr. Irshad Ali Sheikh joins us from Ankara and he is the interim head of the World Health Organization for Turkey. Fantastic to have you on the program. Um, in simple terms, why have uh, the trials of hydroxychloroquine been stopped temporarily? Uh, good morning and thank you for having us. I think the point is that the safety and public health is the topmost, topmost concern. And based on some observational data that Lancet published, there is some evidence in that study that there may be more harm than betterment. So to be conservative, what WHO is saying that the solidarity trial that we are doing, coordinating in 17 countries with over 3,500 patients for treatment of COVID with hydroxychloroquine, we will not enroll any new patients for hydroxychloroquine, but those who are already on it will continue and finish their course. So it's a conservative, preventive approach at this time. Okay, but um, lots of doctors have been prescribing hydroxychloroquine. Um, what would you advise them? So I think we have to understand that the hydroxychloroquine has been in use for decades for malaria, lupus, and other autoimmune disorders. So doctors have experience of using hydroxychloroquine. But this use is an off-label use, and we do not know for sure what is the right dose if there is any effect. So yes, doctors are using it, and what we as WHO is neither recommending nor uh, advising against. But what we are saying is off-label use warning, Plus, it's between doctor and the patient to discuss the side effects, potential adverse impact, potential benefit if there is any. And doctors, our job is to warn the doctors on this. And that's how we are providing the evidence globally, not just in Turkey, to say you make informed decisions with your patients. And what has been the success rate of uh, hydroxychloroquine uh, for COVID-19? Well, we do not have that evidence as yet in terms of numbers to say, because thus far the data that we have neither says there is a beneficial effect, nor does it say there is a harmful effect. But since we could not analyze all that body of data from 17 countries right away, on safe side, the WHO has decided that since we have this Lancet study, which is an observational study, not the gold standard clinical trial, but we will keep public health and safety will take precedence. And for the time being, we will stop giving to new patients till we analyze the data and have the answer what you're asking the question about. Quick question for you about Turkey before I let you go. Um, the country is at a stage where it said the COVID-19 outbreak is under control and is trying to reopen the economy and society. How would you assess Turkey's fight against COVID-19? I would relate to President's speech a couple of days ago where we said we are going into a socially controlled experiment, but we have to observe social distancing and other measures and be careful because if we don't, it can come back with a vengeance and the government itself has said they may impose even harsher measures. So what we are seeing is that, yes, we have turned the corner, but there can be a second peak if we are careless, if we do not adopt and understand all the measures that the government has enforced. So it's a testing time for all of us, not for just to prevent ourselves or protect ourselves, but to protect our counterparts, our friends, our loved ones, our Turkish citizens, every and each human being that we come in contact with. It's our moral, ethical, and public health responsibility to observe those social distancing and other measures to protect ourselves and others. Thank you for that advice. Dr. Irshad Alisheikh, uh, interim head of the World Health Organization for Turkey. Thank you so much.